carried everything by myself. I wasn't sure if there was or was not a God. Like that kid's like so mean, that kid's like bad kid, he's a bad influence. Um, before Christ, I would say it was a bit directionless, like I didn't exactly know what I was doing with my life, what direction I was going to be heading. Our Mother's Day came around and my mom, uh, her Mother's Day gift for me was me in jail. And uh, she had to pull me out and I saw her break down after that. You know, I never really hated people, I wasn't angry, but it just, it bothered me to see this woman that took care of me her whole life and I actually, that I had hurt her that bad. Uh, I used to go to church sometimes. I was uh, not all into the God is my savior thing. So I was calling myself a Christian, but I wasn't really believing. Um, I actually guess like, I got sort of bad into drugs. As a, as a young child, uh, wasn't good. Uh, I was abused. Before I was a Christian, I was usually dark and depressive. I felt really alone and by myself. And uh, what sat in the back of my mind is all that had happened to me is that no one stood up for me. No one stepped in and said, you know, stop. My mom and my stepdad ruined me and they were singing a song and God touched me on the heart when you, and he was out right side out of me. I have been searching for five, five years now for what a step of faith would look like. And I, I got to see people, at, you know, I got to see the church and, and people out there, Pastor Chris and everybody, just people living their life like it should be lived. And so after that, I talked to Jonas and I said, I really, um, I was talking to him about like how much I like envied his passion for, for God. And I told him that I think I'm ready to take like my steps and like follow him in faith and just follow like people in faith because I wanted to grow. The community here is just amazing. So friendly and hospital, like hospital, hus hus hospitable, yes. And I prayed the prayer with the, with the church that day. Um, and at that point I was like, you know what, I'm gonna find out all I can about these people, about this church, about God, so I can know all about it. Cause he can, in, in an instant, he can just relieve me of that and he can push me forward in another direction and I can leave that all behind me without ever having to look back at it. Something, something brought me to the stage. I was over here and they were praying over me. I didn't, I didn't, I was just up there. I couldn't even talk, you know, I was just up here like just, I don't, I don't know, just, just, just pray for me. I just know I needed to be up here. Never in my life have I ever walked up. Well, my mom's actually taking care of me. She's actually, um, she's actually giving me a place to live. Uh, I actually do know that she's, she's actually praying for me almost all the time. It's one thing I do know, she, she's always praying for me. I was just blown away that that Chris was here saying, hey, let's let's walk the walk. Let's go out there and, and let's be like Christ. Like I felt like open and like my heart was open and that, you know, I would I want to follow Jesus Christ and I knew it that moment. I just knew it. God changed my life and and I want to be a good person. Jesus came to earth as a baby. He lived a perfect life. He died on the cross for our sins. He was buried in the tomb. And on the third day, he arose again. I said, Lord, I said, I need you. I need you. And I need to know what to do and where to go. I want to get baptized because I feel like I should live a better life with God. And I want to be with Him in the end when I die. To me, being baptized is kind of being, like being born again. Jesus died and He rose again after His death. He died for our sins on the cross. If you can believe that, you know, He died on the cross for your sins and came back to life, then that is your eternal self. So I now believe that um, you know, we were all, all born sinners. Jesus died on the cross for me, rose from the dead, and uh, through him I am now saved. Jesus died for our sins so we can have a relationship with him, and he rose again on the third day. And I believe that, and now I'm clean. Like, it's easy to love on people now because I know that he loves me. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins and rose on the third day. The things that I've done in the past will now be forgiven because I've accepted him as my Lord and Savior. 
God is so powerful, it brings like everybody together. And I, I'm just so thankful for that. And that I, there, He will always be there. I cannot, He, Jesus is the one I can always count on for anything and everything. And I may not fully understand how all of that works. I'm willing to at least embrace that so I can move forward in this faith.